Hey guys, time for another quick tip. Steven, you just did some great photos. Thanks. You can't do those photos anymore because yeah, the shadow is not covering our model anymore. Right, but right. this quick tip is about another topic. So it's yeah. your turn. Yeah, but the topic is also very important. It's about locking your, your sun bounce into position. Why, why, would you, why should you do this? Well, as a photographer, when you're taking pictures, especially outside or basically anywhere actually, but outside it's very important uh, because uh, you have so many variables that the light stays constant and if your sun bounce is moving around too much then uh, you can't take a proper series of pictures. Each photo will look a little bit different. That's, exactly. That really isn't good. Right. So what we've done is uh, we've, uh, we have the setup here with two sandbags on a light stand, a grip head and a sun bounce. We have some wind outside but do you see any sun bounce moving? No, it's not moving at all. It's really, it's perfect. It's perfect. So guys, remember, you can really lock your sun bounce down so you get really constant light. 